One of our followers on X, formerly Twitter, asked us to review the Intelli Pure Compact. The reason was that this device had been chosen to be used in many schools in New York and Chicago. Now, interest in this particular device peaked back in 2021 when a study by the Mayo Clinic was featured in Good Morning America. In this study, they showed that portable air purifiers, specifically the IntelliPure Compact, were great at reducing the viral load in a school setting. When I looked at the write-up on the Good Morning America study, they mentioned that this study came from the Mayo Clinic and the University of Minnesota and was conducted in the Well Living Lab. Doing a little bit more research, I saw that the Well Living Lab was actually a collaboration between a private company called Delos and Mayo Clinic. Now, looking at the Delos website, I saw that they only sell IntelliPure devices. So it must mean that Delos thought that this device benchmarked way better than anything else on the market. There was an interesting story about Delos using lobbyists to push these devices into schools. Now, I'm not gonna go into details about that on this video, but I will drop the Gothamist article from 2022 as it goes into a lot of detail and it is very interesting. Here at House Fresh, we're in a pretty unique position because we've benchmarked over 80 different air purifiers. So we can look at air cleaning performance, energy usage, and sound level. And we can see, was the IntelliPure Compact a good choice for New York and Chicago schools? Right, if you don't want to watch my full review, here's the one thing I like and the four things I don't about the IntelliPure Compact. Well, the first one is the price. When it first came out, it had a whopping $549 price tag. But now, in 2024, the device is available for $139 and sometimes goes as cheap as $99. Now, what I don't like, the first one is it's really heavy, much heavier than many devices that had similar performance in our test room. Two, on turbo speed, it hits 66.9 decibels, which is pretty loud. Now, this isn't the highest, but it's at the top of our table, and that compares many devices that are much bigger. Three, it has higher costs to run when you account for energy costs and filter replacements. Four, it had really weak air cleaning performance when running the device at a fan speed that was lower than 45 decibels. Right, let's jump into the full review. Long-term viewers will know that I like to go over to the Energy Star website to see if a KDAR report exists for the device. Now, sadly, there wasn't a KDAR report for the IntelliPure Compact, but if I go over to the Daylos.com website, they do share a KDAR score of 145.3 CFM. Now, we can compare this to a other device that has a similar level of KDAR, which would be the Lavoie Core 300 with 141 CFM. Now, bear in mind that the Lavoie Core 300 managed to clean our test room of all PM1 in 45 minutes, according to our Zen sensor. So we would expect that this device is gonna perform in that similar range. So let's look at the design of the IntelliPure Compact. Now, it is a small device, doesn't have too big a footprint, but it is heavy. It weighs 17 pounds. To put this into perspective, the similar performing Lavoie Core 300 weighs only six pounds. Fan speed, it has four different fan speeds from low, medium, high, and turbo. It doesn't have any timers, auto mode, or any app support. So looking at the filters in the IntelliPure Compact, we have two filters. Now, the first one is the six stage filtration. Now, when I spoke to the team there, they kind of mentioned that this was similar to a standard air purifier with a HEPA-like filter and activated carbon. Now, the unique filter is this advanced DFS filter, unique to IntelliPure. And DFS is short for Disinfecting Filtration System. And supposedly, this filter will allow, in combination with the electrostatic process, process to deactivate viruses and bacteria that get into the filter material and also improve performance compared to using HEPA alone. Okay, let's jump into the exciting part and test how well the IntelliPure Compact does 
in our test room. Now our test room measures 728 cubic feet and we use purple air sensors to track how quickly the air purifier can move PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. And because we've benchmarked and tested over 80 different air purifiers, we can quickly compare performance across different units. Now the IntelliPure Compact, according to our Zen sensor, managed to achieve PM10 in 44 minutes, which does line up to the KDAR given on the Daylos website. And we can compare this to other devices we've benchmarked. Looking at the table above, raw air cleaning performance to price seems pretty good with the IntelliPure Compact. Whilst air cleaning performance is the main thing to look for with an air purifier, if an air purifier is so loud you can't bear to hear it, then you're just not going to want to use it, which is why we record the level of sound at each fan speed at three feet away. And as of this year, we've been recording each test. Now, here are the results for the IntelliPure Compact. Be aware that our background noise level is similar to what we see for Speed 1, so likely if you were to test this device in a more silent location, you would get a lower fan speed. However, I was surprised at how loud this device was at its turbo speed, hitting 66.9 decibels. Now this is under the 70 decibels that would cause hearing damage, but it's still really loud, but please have a listen for yourself. I also made a comparison with other devices we've tested with similar levels of performance. Looking at the table above, the IntelliPure Compact benchmarks really poorly when we account for sound when compared to other similar performing devices. Now, one of the things that we've liked to do with our new reviews is to look at how performance is at lower fan speeds. We use the limit of 45 decibels. And for this device, we're gonna choose medium speed, which is slightly over at 46 decibels, but we still think it's close enough to give us a good idea. And when we tested it running at medium speed, it took 198 minutes to achieve PM10. And we can compare that to other devices running at less than 45 decibels. When accounting for sound levels, the IntelliPure Compact has much less air cleaning performance when compared to other devices we've benchmarked. As part of our reviews, we also look at how much energy is used at each of the fan speeds. And here are the results for the IntelliPure Compact. If you were to leave the IntelliPure Compact running at its highest turbo speed for every day of the year, 24 hours a day, it would add an additional $68.42 to your electricity bill. When compared to other devices with a similar level of air cleaning performance, the IntelliPure Compact does use a lot more energy. For example, when we compare it to the Lavoie Core 300S or the Philips 800 series, the IntelliPure Compact nearly uses three times as much energy to achieve the same level of air cleaning performance. Now it's time to look at filter replacements. Now any air purifier that uses mechanical filtration will need the filters replacing eventually. According to IntelliPure, you'll need to change the pre-filter every six months and the DFS filter every 12 months. Luckily, IntelliPure sell a bundle with two pre-filters and one DFS and they sell this for $99. When we combine this $99 filter replacement cost with the energy costs, we can find the yearly running costs and we can compare this to other similar devices. As you can see in the table, the IntelliPure Compact has some of the highest running costs of small air purifiers we've looked at. However, it is still beaten by the Molecule Air Mini Plus, which has a much pricier filter. So what's my opinion of the IntelliPure Compact? Well, it's heavy, it's loud, and it has some of the highest running costs compared to other small air purifiers we've looked at. Even at $139, it's not a device I would recommend. So I don't understand why schools in New York and Chicago paid nearly $500. But I get that 2021 was a scary time for all of us and maybe decisions were made quicker than they should have been. As part of this review, I did reach out to IntelliPure and I had a Zoom conversation with their VP of Marketing and Engineering and I shared my testing data with them to make sure it matched up with their internal data and it did. They also did mention that they are working on a new series of air purifiers that will have air quality sensors and app support. So I'll be keen to try them in future. Now, as always, if you have any questions about the IntelliPure Compact or you have one of the devices, I want to share your experience, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.